Hello and welcome to Richard's Kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking chicken parfait with spiced pear chutney. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, like and share. Today's dish will include our spiced pear chutney recipe and the link to this recipe will be at the top of your screen right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a reduction and in this we're going to put onions, garlic, thyme, brandy and port. So in a hot pan we're going to put 140 grams of finely diced onions, 15 grams of chopped garlic and a small bunch of thyme. Now cook those for two to three minutes until they're nice and soft. When the onions have softened, add 150 milliliters of cooking brandy. Make sure you ignite the brandy to burn off any alcohol. So now we're going to add 350 milliliters of ruby port. And this is where the reduction bit comes in. So we're going to carry on cooking until all the moisture has evaporated and we only have a couple of tablespoons of pure flavour left. So now we need to cool this down to room temperature. Pour it into a dish and save it for later. Now we're going to blend the main ingredients for the parfait. It's really important and also to make sure that we get that really smooth consistency that all of the ingredients are at room temperature. In the food processor, add 400 grams of chicken livers, 5 eggs and the reduction that we made earlier. Blend all of the ingredients at high speed and then we're going to trickle in the melted butter as if we're making mayonnaise. When you have finished adding all of the butter, this is what it should look like. It should be smooth and pourable. Now what we need to do is to pass it through some muslin cloth to get rid of any meat particles and to make sure it's as smooth as we can possibly get it. Now add 125 milliliters of double or heavy cream and whisk it into the parfait. Line a terrine mould or a small loaf tin with cling film and pour the parfait mixture in. The cling film is there to help us get the parfait out of the tin when it's cooked and don't worry it won't melt. So now we're going to cook the parfait in a bain marie. Put the terrine mould into another dish and fill with water until it goes halfway up the side of the terrine mould. Now cook the parfait at 110 degrees centigrade or 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, check that the parfait is cooked. This is a low temperature and gentle cook, but the parfait should still be firm to touch. Remove from the oven and allow to cool in the water. Then pour on 30 grams of melted butter, which when set will stop the parfait from oxidizing. Then chill in the fridge overnight. We need some type of bread to go with the parfait. So we're gonna bake some bruschettas. First of all, thinly slice some ciabatta or baguette and lay the slices onto a baking tray. Drizzle the bread with olive oil and then sprinkle sea salt or kosher salt and then ground black pepper onto the bread. Bake in the oven at 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit until the bruschettas are a light golden brown in colour. Now it's time to slice the parfait. Carefully remove from the tin by pulling on both ends of the cling film. To slice the parfait use a warm knife and be sure to clean the knife between each slice. The parfait will be firm but it will also be like slicing butter. Always slice just before you knead it as it will oxidize very quickly. 
We're going to serve with some nice crisp leaves that have been spun in a salad spinner and then tossed in a light vinaigrette. This is a great dish to have all year round, but at this time of year, particularly with Christmas coming up, it has some delicious wintry flavours. I enjoy this dish as a starter or occasionally as a light lunch because I know that every element will be packed with flavour. If you like this video, please subscribe, comment, like and share.